Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another exciting Louis Vuitton unboxing for you all today. I know there's been quite a stretch of these unboxings recently, but I absolutely love finding these items that I have my eye on. And this one just happened to pop up and I could not say no. So if you wanna check out what item I finally picked up from Louis Vuitton, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I am a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I really love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling experience as well. So that kind of thing sounds at all interesting. Definitely keep on watching. Check out my videos linked down below. And please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Okay, so for today, I have another Louis Vuitton unboxing. And I say another because if you do watch my channel at all, you'll realize I recently took a long-awaited trip to Vegas with my husband a little bit ago. I did vlog that trip, so I'll link that down below in case you're curious. And during that trip, of course, when you're in Vegas, you have to do some shopping. So I did a little bit of luxury shopping, and I have several unboxings that I've shared with you guys. I will also link those down below. And one of the stores I went to, of course, was Louis Vuitton there. I picked up a beautiful item, but this one was on my wish list that I just could not find in any of the Vegas stores. So literally every single Louis Vuitton I went into in Vegas, and there definitely is a handful of them, did not have this item. And they kind of rolled their eyes at me when I said I wanted it because it's so hard to get. So I was super excited how I finally, finally picked this up. So I will share with you how I finally got my hands on this. But first, let's just head on into the unboxing. Um, so this is how this item is packaged. So the beautiful Louis Vuitton wrapping. And of course it came with the receipt and I won't show you the details of the receipt of course but the receipt is in here and um, I always save the receipts of course in case you want to preserve your item for resale potential and also to really catalog when you purchase items I think is kind of fun. So anyway so here's the box. I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap it free today so I have not actually checked out this item at all since I received it so I'm excited to bust open <laughs> into it right now. So it has the beautiful magnetic closure and you guys can probably guess what this is definitely if you watch my vlog you'll know what I had my eye on but by the shape of it you can kind of probably tell but let me just show you what I picked up okay so here's the beautiful dust bag and by now I have no doubt you know what this is but let me go ahead and share with you my beautiful Louis Vuitton agenda wow so this thing is super hard to get your hands on these days and i was so excited i actually found this so i'm going to go ahead and peek inside in a minute you can tell i'm pretty anxious about it but i literally looked everywhere for this item and just haven't found it for probably seriously looking about six months now including going to all our stores and you could order them but it would take quite a while to get here and there's no guarantees you know all this stuff so i decided i'll just hold out and kind of look around on my own so how i actually scored this was just online believe it or not so this is kind of my trick for these harder to find items sometimes they do pop up randomly on a given day online and it's really unpredictable so like a crazy person, what I do is I stalk the website and during the day, I can't even imagine how many times I refresh the website, but I'm constantly on there checking to see if some of these hard to find items pop up. So I've seen some really hard to find items on there occasionally pop up and one evening as I was doing some work on the computer, I decided to refresh the Louis Vuitton website and it said available. So I quickly pounced on it. I didn't get my hopes up because oftentimes it says available and by the time you actually go to check it out, it says that it's not available anymore. So I wasn't sure it was actually gonna go through or not. In fact, even the day or so after I purchased it, I still wasn't so sure until I finally got the shipping confirmation and then I could kind of rest a little easy. But this honestly just popped up on the Louis Vuitton website. So I was so happy that I found it. And I actually really wanted to purchase this new. So as I'll show you in a minute, I did decide to hot stamp this item. So I really wanted to purchase it new for that reason. Plus when you look on a lot of the resale type of sites for luxury items, these kind of small other goods like wallets, um, in addition to this agenda, tend to get a lot of wear because of course people use them often. So in the pre-love sites, you're paying quite a bit of money already for them because I think these items really hold their real resale potential. And the items that they have available really showed a lot of wear. So if at all possible, I really, really wanted to purchase it new. So I'm so happy that I finally did. 
So let me just share with you what this item features and kind of why I wanted to pick it up. Um, just so you're aware, this is the agenda, which is the ring, the six ring binder type of agenda. This is the large size. It also comes in a medium and a small size in this particular version. And this is the agenda with the ring. So it has the snap button closure here. They also do have a desk agenda where it's just more of an open portfolio style as well, but does not come with the ring binder. The type of material obviously here is the monogram canvas. It also comes in other canvases like the bean prints and it comes in other leathers as well. So I have seen epi leather and taiga leather. I believe you can also get a mon monogram type of style in some of these agendas too. So there's a lot of variety, although all the agendas in general is pretty hard to come by. I did actually see in person an epi leather one, which was beautiful, but I just had my heart set on the monogram, so I decided to pass on that. But um, it does come in many different types of styles. So again, this is a large version, and the measurements are, according to the website at least, 7.1 inches in width, and then the length or height, I should say, is I believe 8.7 inches. So pretty good size. For me at least, I needed this larger version. I had my eye on a slightly smaller version, the medium version, um, just because I thought it would be more portable. But I just knew for my lifestyle, because I'm trying to coordinate schedules for four kids and myself and my husband, I just needed more space. So I went for the large. So let me just take you through it and then I'll kind of show you some features of it. So this is the, again, beautiful monogram canvas. It's a single piece of canvas, as you can see here, just kind of wraps around. And it has the button snap closure here. And let me show you a couple of close-ups. So on the button, of course, it's embossed with the Louis Vuitton. And then when you open it up, oh, this is so pretty. It has the little tags here. And I will take this out for now. It has the care tag. So it's the uh, coated fabric on the outside, but it's the cowhide leather lining on the inside, like a lot of their SLGs. And then here is the skew tag, in case you're curious. And as I mentioned, it just features a six ring binder here and it's easily opened like this. And then you can just shut it, of course. And it works really nicely, beautiful shiny gold tone hardware. And as you can see, I hot stamped it right here with my three initials. And I think that came out really pretty. So I do like to hot stamp. I usually don't hot stamp bags themselves um, because in case I want to resell them and I also don't want to um, be kind of set in a permanent type of hot stamp on a bag. But I do hot stamp a lot of luggage tags and I do like to use the hot stamp luggage tags as accessories on my bags if you've seen in other videos. So I do love the personalization of the hot stamping like this on an item like an agenda. I think it works perfectly. It does have a slip pocket here and then it has a couple of folder type pockets here. So this can be used for cards, which is really nice. And this other side here too has another pocket and there is a pocket back here too. And then there is a little loop here for pens. So as you can see, this does not come with any inserts. So if you love using these agendas and have a great tip on where I can get some really nice inserts, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm a pretty new planner person, I'll say. I, in the past, have used Happy Planners, which I've loved. Most recently, for the past several years, though, I've used the Erin Condren Life Planners, and I really do enjoy those as well. They're very functional for me and really hold everything I need. So I wanted something of a similar size, um, but I'm really excited to play around with different inserts that I can put inside and kind of customize my planner to suit my needs even better than the Erin Condren one. So let me know down below what kind of inserts you guys like to use. And I'm very excited that it's kind of modular, so you don't have to keep everything in here all the time. You can kind of take out previous months, you can kind of readjust the organization as you see fit on an any given day. So I really like that binder aspect of this. And I mean, the hot stamping is just gorgeous. I went with the classic gold, like I do all of my hot stamping. I don't tend to put the dots in between my initials just because I personally like this look better. So I'm super excited. I don't plan on reselling this, obviously, which is why I hot stamped it for myself. Um, but I think these kind of accessories are really nice to hot stamp and it's very personal in that way. So I was really, really happy to um, score this one. So in case you're curious about size comparisons, I did pull out my trusty Erin Condren Life Planner, which I'm currently working in. And as you can see, it's a 
about the same size in terms of the length and the width. So that is why I thought the large agenda is really what I needed. The Erin Condren has a lot of room for me to write notes in, to do my daily schedules. So I needed something this large and really I was a little surprised at how compact overall this seemed for a large agenda. This is gonna be portable for me. I tend to carry a tote bag to work anyway, so this will fit really nicely in a tote bag. I mean, this obviously won't fit in really small crossbody bags, but I don't need to carry my agenda if I'm not going to. Um, you know, go to work or go to appointments or anything. So I think this will work perfectly well in my tote bags. So overall, um, very, very impressed with this. I'm so excited I got this. I mean, I literally couldn't believe that it came up. So I would definitely, if you have your eye on something like this, just try to refresh the website now and again, and you may get lucky. I sure was. Um, I think this turned out really nice, and I'm super excited to start going and moving into this. I probably won't move into it though until next calendar year because I still have a lot of room in my Erin Condren that I'm using for this year. So I have a little bit of time to kind of work out how I want to get the setup done. I will definitely share with you guys a planner accessory haul that I hopefully will have soon and show you how I set up this planner as well in the next several months. So again, please leave your tips down below on items that I need to put into this planner. It will totally help me out. Otherwise, thank you for watching this little quick video, and I'm really excited to share with you over the next several months how I move into this little beauty. I hope you're doing well and staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.